It's McKenchy Critiques. It is McKenchy Critiques. Let's get something straight here. It's called McKenchy Critiques. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. McKenzie critiques to McKenzie Dick Red's favorite anime. Welcome back to another weekly live reaction of Bleach Thousand Year Blood Wars for episode 7. Yamamoto R.I.P. Kuchiki Byakia R.I.P. Shun's, um, Shunsoi, Shinso Shinso. I'm hoping he's alive because it looked pretty bad. When someone gets shot and the background goes red and you see the black silhouette. That usually means death. Usually. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Because that guy needs more. Uh, but let's get to this. That was near Blood War, episode 7. Come on. They're going to have a funeral as well. Yamamoto's funeral. It was a little bit of a cop out that um, you are work can't exist outside of his realm for too long. Don't know why that is. Guess they'll explain it. Damn. This is reminding me of uh, Udam, Sadar Udam, the film based on the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, fam. Little bit. Unohana. Not gonna lie, some of the contributions were pretty woeful from the captains. Shinji, someone drew it to my attention that all Shinji did was run into action, and I said, "You never see him again." The captain. Oh, there he is. Survived. It's gonna be that morning moment. See, th this is the point where every show has this moment. The moment where the big, this, this, the teacher, the sensei gets fucked over. The, the, the Empire Strikes Back soul moment. But yeah, somebody drew it to my attention that literally Shinji's contribution to this whole conflict was doing the Naruto run, and and, and then you never see him again, and then you you all box left, Stan Raiders, one done right, left. <laughs> I get why the pacing so fast. It's meant to throw you completely off guard. Like this attack was so like, there they are. It's fucking OP, fam. I'm glad there is a villain that at least it at least seems like they've done their research. They know their enemy, the Soul Society. Didn't just come in and hope, like hope to win. You're pretty damn sure. You're gonna find out where these motherfuckers are coming from. Portals can just fucking appear and so sly and people come in, fam. There they are, the morning, the morning period. Shit, man. I know my boy Sergeant Komamura was pretty close to Yamamoto. Wonder how it'll be. Your boy lost. Your boy lost.
I like getting off feeling useless and powerless. Dad down. They've barely had a presence in this season. These these two. And they're already laid out in bed fam. <laughs> He hadn't come to sort of him. Dude, he didn't drive the enemy boss away. The boss had to leave. Because the leash was tugging on him, fam. Zambakto. He's powerless, he's stuck inside a fucking bubble fan. This good, okay, the Quincy revelation, maybe. It is, it literally is the Empire Strikes Back moment. I am your father, Luke. Your mum was a fucking Quincy. <laughs> there. Okay. And both survived. Dude, the Akia was pretty definitive to me. So they did fucking uh, wreck, they backtrack it. See, this guy looks like Baz B. Like, in the dark, this guy looks like Baz B a little bit. <laughs> Sergeant lost to the earth. Dude, did we even see this happen? Bambi in the Bambi has come back with the PowerPoint slide. Bambi has slide. This is like the Ignis from FF15 just coming back and he's blind. You never see it and they pay, you pay for the DLC. Bruh. That reminds me of Tupsimai, the broken Tupsimai in FF14. All you have is shards of it. For posterity. <laughs> I want this mind spiritual pressure. Kubo, Kubo does whatever he wants to do. It's like how all the captains put their fucking soul energy into his thing in the full bringer. What was it? The filler arc or was it full bringer? I forgot which. Can never be restored. So Bisio Kuchi Ibiaki has Bankai gone fam. Oh my days caught. <laughs> Where's this motherfucker be? Love it. Now it's bleach. Now it's bleach. Come on. Meet them.
the hell's it going now? It's Squad Zero that some of the people from from old Go Te Tain that we saw in the flashbacks. They put that fucking red fil pink filter over the old footage. Did they? What is going on? It's Emma's gonna come out now. Monkey King. Emma. Didn't you then? Transport vehicle. They gotta be old go to 13 maybe. Some of them. Or five are captains. Combined strength of those five. Entire 13 squads. Are you kidding me? I did not expect this. The shooting star project, Zero Mix. Oh, they only bust them out when everything's died. Like, you can tell this. There was probably no f development for these guys. They might mention in passing squads. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? You're Killer B over there. What? <laughs> He's five. I'm more powerful than 30. <laughs> it's going to turn into One Piece now. You, you can't take them seriously, but when they fight, you can take them seriously. Eody. Kitty, she's probably going fat and sissy last. I bet she was a hottie back in the day, and now she's gone fat. <laughs> I love it. What the fuck? <laughs> we need some fun energy, man. Get to her. Thailand techniques. Got Gorkin over here from Street Fighter. Oh, sure. Mm. Rebuild. So you're just going to replace. Or, or fill in substitute. We're taking you back up with us. Relaxing above world seven. So it is all on their whims, okay. So if I'm spitting facts though. Why weren't none of the Shumpo fast step? Why weren't none of our captains doing that? Royal Palace. It, it feels like Attack on Titan shit, man. Wall Rose, Wall Maria. <laughs> Elite squad, elite guard. They're all here. Oh. Kaguya. Tame desio. No hundred greatness. Huh? 
I have this trap plane right now. Let's see. Oh my day. <laughs> really? <laughs> they were quick. They, they, they just told us that their transport device, unless she literally did it in between the conversations that were going on right now. The door just slid right over. Dude, she is quick. Oh my day. The pacing is like. Actually, this scene is probably the most time they're going to give anything, to be honest. Right now, I only know the name Hiori. Hiori. <laughs> uh, Chalo, the one of the most swaggerless anime characters ever, ever. Grimjaw? Is it Grimjaw? I knew it was Grimjaw that saved the asses. It's Grimjaw. Look, you saw his midriff. Is this some sort of running joke? Will you just show, tease him a little bit? When everyone fucking knows it could only be Grimjaw. They don't have a better offer than fucking Elite 5 taking. It just dawned on me how little eventually Kubo stopped caring about characterization everyone's a walking haircut or a cool design and people just want to see them fight badass looking people doing badass shit I'll give it to One Piece they do develop <laughs> characters Resembling your original sword. Kakushiba. So she's in charge of sending them back. Interesting. So say it's finished when the next invasion comes. Dude, it's like Squad Zero, fuck me. You really do wonder where the fuck were they all this time? Uncle Sad. Bloody full bring a greatness. Dude, are they what? Motherfuckers just walking in and out. What's going on right now? Motherfuckers just, people just strolling around in and out. Like, what's with the fucking shitty pacing of this fucking bar, man? Like, there's no, they just, it's like PowerPoint slides, literally. Dude, did, how, did these people forget that Bleach has been gone for several fucking years? Years. 
like a, almost a decade. Easy. The Orkin refers to our bones, transformed by the power of the Soul King. Interesting, right? Dude, you know Aizen's gonna make it here now. You know Aizen's gonna make it here. The minute they show you. Kratos use no spiritual powers. Place of a god. Okay. I use it for skip. Even greater evil, D debatable fam, debatable. The fucking pacing has been a, a, frankly atrocious here. But this is what happens when people don't care about characters, and there's so many disposable characters that you forget the names of. I don't even know these characters' names fam. I only know them by their haircuts. They, they are literally walking haircuts. Be honest, be fucking honest. The walking haircuts. You only recognize them by the haircuts. I didn't rec recognize the visor red captain when he changed his haircut. The one who took over from fucking Thing Squad. The one who replaced, what's his fucking name? Gin or D uh, Dozen. Him. He used to look like a long haired blonde guy and then cut his hair and I forgot who he was. Oh, so they have a fucking healing pool. Dude, like, when Byakuya was fucking fucked, it, it created weight and weight and consequence. And you backtracked that. Blood pond hell. And they have a fucking hot spring. Elite 5 got a fucking hot spring where they fucking. <laughs> We had such a dark moment right now. <laughs> this is like the big Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Bad blood. Dude, give him hij hijama, fam. Cupping, fam. Can you believe they could have done this for the entire history of Bleach? They could have done this to every character. They only give a fuck now because Yamamoto is dead. They only noticed. I'm not going to lie. They tried to convey a lot. It's really fast paced. Sometimes long exposition is bad, but sometimes too short is bad too. Hair, the haircuts right now to me. Elite 5 are haircuts apart from Hiori, the fat. They may have mentioned Squad Zero at some point, Elite Squad. Nobody, nobody knew about it. I think they probably did at some point. But man, like, like, it's like too little too late. There's aspects of this arc that reek of too little too late. Sasakibe too little too late. Showing us the history between Shunso and fucking Yamamoto as a kid too little too late. You just a little glimpse of some development and relationships between these characters. Otherwise all these captain... At least it took, they beat us over the head. Yeah, fucking Matsumoto is close with fucking Toshiro and Gin. They're close, they're close. But they, they give you a little 10 second... PowerPoint slides to show you, oh, they used to be something. They used to be something. So light on character. Like, we were honest. I'm honest. I like Bleach because the fucking fights. The badass dialogue and the fights. But call, call, call this what it is, man. Call this what it is. Nothing is immune to your critiques, fam. Nothing. Even if I love it, it's not crit immune. Dude, that was crazy fast pace. 
Soul King. Bruh, we get to see Soul King. Neither form nor soul shall escape my blade. Zaraki's so gonna be licking his wound. Except you. The drop. There needs to be consequence. I was thinking consequence. Shove him in a hot spring like typical Japanese fiction. Hot spring will fix everything, man. Cancer, AIDS. Cancer, AIDS, leprosy. Yeah, shove him in a fucking hot spring. Yeah, everything's okay. There was consequence. Having the elite step up and having the mainstays, the Renjis, the favorites, the Byakyas, the Rukias out the game would have been fucking awesome. Would have been so awesome. But walkbacks. I thought Kubo said he, he didn't, this arc, he didn't want to be beholden to the TV serial format, shonen format. And yet he fucking took all the death threats and there uh, you fucking bring back your back. What? He could have kept him dead, but he, that would have required a rewrite and everything. And cutting Pyaki out of anything coming up next. Yeah, damn it, man. I'm not gonna lie, just at this stage, this is the best compromise they could do. If they're not gonna, if they don't care about me following, like, caring about the legibility and people following the names and how this connects to that. This isn't a case of let's explain it so fast that nobody questions it. Like let's 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 quickly explain it so fast that nobody questions it. This this pacing seems a conscious decision. This ain't this ain't Golden Kamoy where a key member of staff dies and they gotta hurry and rush to put put frames together. They ain't they got keyframes only and they got nothing in between. This this has been a conscious decision. It may work for, for when drama and tension's up, like the action's there. Like, it, it has a, a, a almost, um, it's manipulating the audience to feeling a certain way, the anxiety, like, really fast. But when you get to the exposition bit and you've got, you're just doing that stuff, it's like, what has happened to adaptations lately? My Hero Academia went to shit recently. What's happening to the industry right now? Like, what's happened to the industry? How can something like Chainsaw Man, something that's banal and fucking edgy and fucking ser fan service laden, fucking breathe, let a scene breathe, but you can't, you can't even, you can't even convey the author's intent through this, uh, this particular thing. I was worried this would happen when I actually stopped the action and switched over. If it took the same attitude to the action as it did to the exposition stuff. I never complained about, you know, them taking an episode or two to breathe, explain, set things up. I never complained about that in old Bleach. But there's, they're going to create issues here, man. Like, dude, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do Bleach adaptation after all these years, do it right, please. But Kubo don't care. Kubo knows this material back and forth. He wants he. Do you know what he, Kubo wants? An abridged version of his own manga, because he can't be bothered to sit through his own work. Because he can't be bothered to sit through his own work. He wants an abridged version. It's self-indulgent. Whatever he's telling them to do is self-indulgent. Just let the work speak for itself. Good or bad, let it speak for itself. Adapt it, or give these guys creative freedom. Stop listening to this motherfucker, man. One hit wonder. Alright guys, thank you so much. I don't know what it is that pissed me off about that episode. There's so much interesting stuff going on. They conveyed it to you like they'd want you to forget. It's it's weird how the most significant things, it's almost like they want you to forget. This ain't like reading a manga where you can just fawn over panels and dissect panels and see little things. This is a fucking anime, man. Weekly anime. Do you want me to watch this episode again frame by frame? Digest it that way. Why not I just read the fucking manga then, man? Peace out, guys.